Tarantula behavior is such that they are, for the most part, loners as, as animals. There are species like the arboreal ones that will cluster together, but for the most part, tarantulas keep to themselves. In a burrow, some of them make a nest and sit inside of a web. They're instinctive animals. Their entire being is to eat, stay happy, and live long enough to mate. In the terms of male tarantulas, that's not a very long life. Three to five years is about the average lifespan for a male. When they get towards that end of their lives, their entire existence is all about mating. They will try to mate as many times as they can, but usually it's only once or twice before they perish. They stop eating when they're in that last phase of their lives and try to find females in order to pass on their genetics. There's a misconception that every time a tarantula mates with a female, it becomes a meal the next day. Certainly that happens and we see it more and more in, in captive collections where the mating's going on inside of a little glass enclosure. But in nature, for the most part, a tarantula does his business and heads on to the next female. If he has enough left in him, he might mate three, two or three times, but for the most part, they don't make it that long. Female tarantulas live a much longer, hardier life. Desert species we see living 20 to 25 years in the wild. Rainforest creatures, high humidity temperature animals, a little bit less, somewhere in the 12 to 15 year category. But for the most part, they're loners. They stay by themselves. Their job, as far as the females are concerned, to produce and reproduce. And we see tarantulas laying up to 2,000 eggs in certain species. But they certainly put out a lot of babies very, very quickly. And in terms of their lifespan, that would be millions of babies for the higher end. So that is the behavior of the tarantula to survive in the environment that it's in, to try not to be eaten by the predators in the area, to stay secretive, to stay alone, pass on its genetics to the next generation.